Hello YouTubers, how are you today? Today I'm going to talk about the top 10 underrated Yu-Gi-Oh traps. And these are the trap cards in my opinion. Now we have XZH. The reason why I like this card is because you can select two speller trap cards on the field and activate this card. As long as this card remains on the field, the selected speller trap cards cannot be activated. So it, it keeps my opponent from doing certain things that he wants to do. Now we have Pineapple Blast. Activate only when you normal summon a monster successfully. If there are more monsters on your opponent's side of the field than you, you can your opponent make it to select and destroy the monsters so they control the same amount of monsters that you control. Then we have Needle Sailing. Activate when there are four monsters on the field. Destroy all face up monsters. Um, Draining Shield. Negate the attack upon your opponent's monsters and gain life points equal to the monster's attack. You save your monster and you gain life points, making it harder for your opponent to win. Magic Drain. No matter which way this card go, you lose a card, your opponent lose a card. You play Magic Drain, then you discard the card to negate it, that's it. You play Magic Drain, they don't discard to negate it, and you negate that card. Either way, they lose a card. Then we have scrap, scrap Iron Scarecrow. Simple. Negate your opponent's attack. Flip this card face down. There you go. You can lose it. You can use it turn after turn after turn. And it can save you from a lot. The selection. Pay 1,000 life points. Negate the summon of a monster with the same type as a monster on the field and destroy it. Yeah, people are using Solemn Warning. But I can use the selection. People will usually run decks who have the same attribute. Curse of Darkness. And the reason why I like this card because if you play a spell card or your opponent plays a spell card, you lose 1,000 life points. It's that simple. 1,000 life points is a lot. And this will lock your opponent from using spell cards. Ordeal of the Traveler. If your opponent attacked, they select one card from your hand. If they call it right, spell trap a monster. That monster gets to attack. If they call it wrong, that monster card goes back to their hand. This is like a turn at the turn at the turn compulse. This is why I like it. It's just like compulse, back. It's just reusable. We have Zomba, Zomba, mm, the spirit, Zomba, Zomba, the spirit. You can special summon this in defense position. It's an effect monster. It's dark. It's a zombie. If this card is destroyed by battle. You get to inflict damage to your opponent equal to attack, equal to the attack of the monster that destroy it. So. Many combos with this card. Synchro Fogger, Tribute Fogger, Magic Planter Fogger. So many things you can do with this card. So leave a comment and tell me what you think.